Neera Tondon will play a role in the Biden administration. Exactly what is TBD? Sources close to Tondon say she is inclined to take a job in the administration, one that doesn't require Senate confirmation, after her nomination to head the Office of Management and Budget was pulled on Tuesday night after it became clear she didn't have enough votes. They expect that some sort of announcement will come in the near term. But there is a hurdle, the most logical landing spots for Tondon are occupied and the West Wing is already quite crowded. Having run the Democratic Party's top think tank for years, Tondon would be an obvious fit to helm the Domestic Policy Council in the White House. But Susan Rice is in that role. As one White House advisor put it, Rice is, not someone who gives up turf easily. A Democrat close to the process also noted, the irony is, Rice, was put in that role because she probably couldn't get, Senate, confirmed. Health care is where Tondon has made the strongest mark in her career, having served as an advisor to the Health and Human Services Secretary during the Obama years. But there's no expectation that she will go in as a deputy at an agency, and the COVID task force is already stacked with big names far along in their work. Instead, the expectation among top Democrats is that Tondon will take on a senior advisor role, even though the White House is brimming with such folks, from Steve Ricchetti to Bruce Reed to Anita Dunn. As one Democratic official put it, you make up some job. The question is, does she want to take it? Both Tondon's allies and those close to the White House believe she will, though neither thought that this was the gig she'd get. Her failed nomination has drawn questions about the White House's confirmation strategy. Individuals inside the administration were concerned early on that it would be a difficult fight, owing to Tondon's partisan reputation. Her selection was driven by White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain, one of Tondon's key allies inside Biden world. But a person closely involved with the OM director deliberations said Klain also recommended others for the role, including Representative Deb Holland, who was, instead, nominated as Interior Secretary, Jennifer Granholm, now confirmed as Energy Secretary, and Cecilia Rouse, now confirmed as Chair of the Council of Economic Advisors. Tondon had broad support from Biden's top advisors including from Biden himself, the person said. She had deep policy experience and had been helpful to the campaign by providing policy support. Her Rolodex included many top Democrats' personal cell phone numbers which she used to shore up support from the party, including the left wing, early on. Transition officials say that she plunged into the outreach strategy, trying to line up the backing of not just senators but a number of outside groups and validators that ranged from AAPI groups, to unions, to former Republican Senator Jeff Flake.